You're listening to the Astromommy Daily Horoscope, a forecast that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Whether you're a first-time listener or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in the Astromommy community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. If you would like to support the Astromommy newsletter, there are several ways to do so. Subscribe on Substack, share it with a friend, schedule a reading, check out my family's Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo, or just leave a tip. Without further ado, here is the Daily Horoscope. Moon opposite Neptune today and sun sextile Neptune tomorrow. Don't fall asleep in the field of poppies. Let the sunshine keep you awake. Daily Horoscope for Thursday, January 12th, 2023. Good morning, friends. Okay, so I've decided to go back to posting every day for the next week, and this is the second day of doing that. I appreciate your patience as I figure out the best writing schedule for myself. So today's horoscope is just for Thursday, and tomorrow I will post Fridays, and so on and so forth. I will still post the weekend forecast for my paid subscribers on Saturday morning. Okay, let's get into the astrology. Today, Mars stations direct. Yay! Ugh, this Mars retrograde has felt a little bit like nails on a chalkboard. It didn't seem to be so bad in the beginning, and then Mars squared Neptune, and that totally sucked. And then this last week, while Mars was super slow and hanging out right on my ascendant, might I add, just felt so heavy, lethargic, and sluggish. Like we were all stuck in quicksand, just slowly sinking but not able to pull ourselves out of it. This whole Mars retrograde for me felt very mentally stimulating and almost like there was too much electricity going through my neurons, but this last week has felt like spinning my wheels. It's as if there were still all the electrical impulses going on, but I wasn't able to move. I am very happy that Mars is stationing direct today and will start to pick up speed and get the heck out of my first house. How about you? How has this Mars retrograde and Gemini been for you? I would love to know, so please leave a comment. The moon today is in Virgo until she ingresses into Libra at 9.56 p.m. Eastern Time. The moon starts out with a nice trine to the sun this morning at around 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and then she will oppose Neptune at about 8.30 and then finish off her time in Virgo with the trine to Pluto at about 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Then she will be void, of course, until her ingress into Libra late tonight. So the moon is making some favorable and harmonious aspects, but also in opposition. This could feel like a great day for the most part. Things could feel like they are finally turning around, and they are, because literally Mars is turning around from our perspective and stationing direct, right? So emotionally, we may feel as if some sort of weight has been lifted, and we are freed from the quicksand feeling or the decision paralysis that we have been feeling, and things are feeling clearer. Then the moon's opposition to Neptune occurs, and we feel pulled in two different directions again. But is it real? Neptune symbolizes deception, illusion, loss, and disappointment. So there could be the feeling like something happens that makes you confused again, when earlier you were feeling a lot more clarity. It's like you knew which way you were going on the yellow brick road, and then you have to go through another field of poppies. It's so easy to fall asleep and dream and not realize that you are not moving in any direction in the field of poppies. So how do we get through it? We have to not allow ourselves to get hypnotized or bewitched by whatever it is that is shiny and pretty that is trying to fog our vision. It's like a mirage on the desert of an oasis. It's an illusion of something we need and want, but when we get there, it's still just sand. So don't fall for it today. Keep your head out of the clouds and your feet grounded. It may be helpful to read over the pros and cons list you made yesterday and remind yourself of the reality of the situation. While the moon opposes Neptune, the sun in Capricorn is within one degree of perfecting his sextile to Neptune in Pisces, which will become exact tomorrow morning at 9.11 a.m. Eastern Time. So by tomorrow morning, we could feel like we have avoided the poppies and we were able to cut through the fog with sunlight. By late tonight, the moon will ingress into Libra, and this is when the moon starts to get a little lightheaded, literally. Moon in Libra is carefree, social, and bubbly. It reminds me of the scene in Mary Poppins, where they all start laughing and then start floating around. It's lighthearted, fun, and silliness. This transition from the Virgo moon energy of being helpful, rational, and meticulous to the lofty, easygoing, and carefree attitude of Libra may be just what we need to take the edge off. Or it could provide another time of confusion when we feel wishy-washy again. So just be aware that the pros and cons list that you made may be your lifeline to reality and staying in touch with your real emotions. This time when the moon is in Libra over the next two days or so could also be a time when it's a good time to seek counsel from your friends, family, or professionals to help you make the best decisions going forward. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? 40. Water element. Sensing. Reversed. 
The element of water is all about flow, the flow of emotions, the flow of actions, the flow of thoughts, and the flow of resources. It's about letting matters flow forth in an intuitive way that seems guided by an invisible hand, like a river is guided by the land that it flows over. In the reverse position, I feel that it is a reminder to check in with yourself and make sure that it's not the poppies' influence that you are following, but it is indeed your intuition. If it is your own feelings and intuitive hits that are guiding you, then by all means go with the flow. If it is the influence of the poppies in life that are guiding you or you are being led by a false promise of something, take a step back and check in with yourself. Have caution about following the herd and truly make sure you are following your own heart and not just trying to fit in. I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Thank you for reading or listening to The Daily Horoscope. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Black Moon Astrology cards available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission, but there is no additional cost to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for